Okay, so I've done a bit of work on the base here, and I've been trying to set up a geothermal power to replace this because it's going through a lot of coal, and I need coal for other things, like, um, I don't know, other things. Anyway, I'm, I found some lava directly below, straight down there, there's a lava pool, so I'm going to build a pump which is going to help us pump lava up from this pool. It's going to pump it up and then it's going to go into some geothermal generators which are going to give us power to run all the machines instead of using coal. So I've got most of the stuff ready. So we can start to build that. Alright, so let's make the pump. It's a mining well and a tank, which is just glass. And this guy is it takes a gear, and the gears are kinda of interesting. You start you always start with a wooden gear, and then you kind of just put stuff around it and it coats it with a whatever metal that is, and then you kind of work up. So I've got that stuff ready in here. Six of those. One of those. This guy. And the gear. Alright. That's the mining mining well. And then we need a tank. And the tank is just a bunch of glass in a circle. And we're actually gonna need a few of those to store the lava. that it pumps up. So let's do that first. Alright, so we can go place that guy. And I believe, yep, it's going to shoot this pipe down and slowly until it hits the lava. <clears throat> so we can get rid of this. So then we need uh, to a couple tanks, and I believe they can just go here, because we have to put engines around this to power it, which is the next thing we have to build. It's called a redstone engine, or something, Red, yeah, redstone engine. So it's just gears, piston gas, or glass, and some wood, so we're going to need a few of these, four for the pump, and then another one to pump the lava out of that tank into the generators that we also still have to build. So, some wood with the pistons, glass, and we need the gears, which I have a bunch of, and what, what's the other thing? Oh, I think that's everything. Okay, so, glass, wood, Piston and then gears. Alright, awesome. And we're gonna need some levers to power all that stuff. Okay. Uh, got that, got the engines. So I believe you just place them like this. Dig this out a bit more. <clears throat> I'm gonna need a lever to power them. We need piping to actually oops, pipe out the lava into that tank. And I believe we can use golden waterproof pipe for that. So making pipes is 
you just need whatever you need glass and then whatever the material is and it gives you a bunch which is nice so and then you make it to carry liquids it has to be waterproof so you just use this stuff called type waterproof which you make from cactus green and it just makes that so four of those all right and then we can hook that up and turn it on and if that pump has reached lava which I'm not sure if it has yeah it hasn't got oh there it's just coming here now so as soon as that hits the lava it's gonna start pumping up into that tank Cool. So let's head back up, and it should be filling that thing up with lava, which will then pump into geothermal generators. And that's going to give us electricity instead of using that generator with coal. Oh, yep. It's starting to fill it up. And then we're going to need to get that lava out. We need a wooden pipe, because only apparently only wooden pipes can get stuff out of things. And then we're going to need to put our generators here and here. But that seems to be working fine. That's awesome. Okay, so now we need geothermal generator, which... Let's see how to build that. Geothermal. It's empty cells, refined iron, or generator, and glass. Okay. And to take stuff out, you have to use this special wrench, or else there's a chance it will turn into, like, it's one tier back, like that would become a machine block. But that didn't happen because you used the wrench. Okay, and then you need some refined iron, and we have the glass, and cells. And cells are just tin, so we have a ton of tin now. So that's easy to make. Oh, those are in the middle. Cool. Alright. So I'll put back that here. And to get the lava flowing in, some gems. Mind those later. To get the lava flowing, we need to put it down another one of these engines. And we're going to have to power it as well. Oh, there goes the lava. And that's going to generate our electricity. But since it's not going anywhere, I don't think we should have that on. And just let this fill up. And... Oh, I, oh no, it's actually filling it. I'll leave that on. Cool, and then I should be able to just run wiring to this stuff now, which I've got a bunch of. We run it to the macerator. this thing work now? Let's try it with some tin. Okay, so that's discharging. Hook it up still. 
now. Yep, it's working great. That's awesome. So now I think what we have to do is, what we're supposed to do, is instead of just hooking it straight up to the generator, we need to store that in like a battery box, as like a buffer, or else I think it wastes energy, or it just goes nowhere. So we're going to need some batteries and some copper cable. I'm going to make these batteries. Let's probably make two bat boxes. Tin, redstone, and copper cable. I've got a lot of tin, got a lot of redstone, and cable still. So I kind of need six of those guys. That box is just three batteries, wood, and a cable. Perfect. Oh, achievement. Cool. So I will put that box here. Oh, did I get that cable back? Yep, okay. Just curious. <clears throat> well, alright. And I'm gonna put another generator here, but I'm not quite ready. Oh, sweet, so that's charging our bat box. Awesome. So I'll put another. Get this ready for the generator to go there, and then. I'd like to have another bat box over there. There's a zombie somewhere. So that's not, this is not charging. Why isn't that charging? Oh, I think I placed this. You have to place it so that the output is facing a certain way. If I want it to output, I have to place it. Yeah, so it's going to output from there, which goes into there. And I'll cut myself in. Oh, so I don't think that's actually outputting properly. <laughs> I have to place it like this. So that's charging, which is charging this. And that's storing power, awesome. Cool, so... My next step is to build another generator. I'm gonna sleep so these uh, mobs go away. All right. Build a generator. So, generator is find iron, battery, and a furnace. I think I'll do that one because I don't have another furnace. Oh, I, you know what, do I? I do have another furnace. Okay. So, need another battery. And that is going to be redstone, cabling, and tin. Okay. And to do the geothermal, we just need more batteries and glass. Okay. Got enough to make one more before I need to make more cable. 
batteries, four glass, and two more refined iron. And just build this and I can hook it up. So we have two. Uh, oh, empty cells and our batteries. And I need to create some of those. So cells are just 10 in a, you get eight, so that's pretty good value. For that, all right. So that's the geothermal. And I can just go in here. And that's going to fill up with lava. Oh, I see. Maybe I should put another bat box here. Because it can't charge that other one. And the other one's full. All right, three batteries and wood and a cable. Oh, I need to make some more cable, that means. Mm -hmm. But I've got a ton of, of copper now and a ton of rubber, so it's not a big deal. To do that. <clears throat> One, two, three batteries, wood, and the cable. Awesome. I'm going to place it like this. And I trap myself again. That's running full capacity, that's awesome. And since these are once that this one's full, I can actually once they're both full, I'll just turn off that uh, generator. I'll just turn off these engines so that it stops pumping lava. All right, so that's it for now. I'm gonna start looking at building more, uh, more machines. I need to build some more furnaces and just get a lot more stuff so I can smell things faster. But I think that's it for now.